Hello again everyone, we're back today to do two sets of tests on two similar fridge filters. First we have the HydroTwist compatible Samsung fridge filter. We're using food coloring to dye the water a dark blue to see how much the filter can reduce it by. There's still a trace of color, so we give the Hydra Twist a 6 out of 10. Next we'll do the same test, but with the Eco Aqua. As you can see, there is still quite a noticeable trace of color. For this filter, we give a 4 out of 10. Now for our chlorine test. First, the Eco Aqua. We have the water we collected earlier, and now we're going to test it for chlorine traces. These results shown relate to the total chlorine after tap water has been run through this filter. In this test, we use a combination of the following. DPD slash 1, free chlorine, and DPD slash 3, total chlorine. This gives a reading of 0 0.15 parts per million. This readout shows that the filter has taken around 55% of the chlorine from the tap water. Next, the Hydra Twist. This gives a reading of low. A reading of low refers to a result that falls out of the test meter's range, meaning this filter takes out around 99% of the chlorine in the tap water. Please note that the equipment used in this video has a test range of 1 to 11 parts per million. With a resolution of 0 0.01 parts per million, it will be displayed as low, falling outside the resolution range, which is less than 0 0.01.